how to make fire with a bow drill in your backyard. Because why yeah, not? I've got a whole bunch of wood chips I need to get rid of, so try out the bow drill fire until I can burn it. Bark nest. Come on over. Hey Lucy. How are you? Baby's running around. I may start this and fast forward a little bit so I'm not just sitting here grinding on a bow drill for 20 minutes. Break this bark up good so it will take a flame. on the top of my bow drill. So that's pointy. This is going to be short and fat. I've already used it a little bit, so I'll leave it pretty much the way it is, but I'm going to grind this up a little bit with my knife so that it creates more friction. Hey, Stinker. Hi. Love you. Hi, Lou. There you go. That's not running anyway, so it's all good. A little dirt and moss on the tip of this. Make it wet and slick. Bottom needs to look like a fat crayon. saw. Do this with a knife, but I can do it faster with a saw. I just want to start a fire today, so I'm grabbing my saw. You want to do one eighth of a pie to the center of the hole that you made. I'm going to burn this hole a little bit more before I cut it.
I learned a little trick. If you cut the bottom here, hopefully you can see this. Cut the bottom out. Kind of creates a little more of a hole that your carbon can build up in. Hi, Lulu. So I've kind of made it a little bit bigger down there. All the things you learn the hard way. Lubrication and we'll make us a fire. That's so why you start with a long stick. Eventually it's a short stick. You can use a short fat stick too. Both work. builds up and then you want to go faster for about 30 steady long strokes until your pile smokes. Then move your baseboard out of the road and you don't need any more wind than what your hand can make or you blow it out and blow it apart. You can see breathing long time ago when I did the Blade HQ video one, we had this and we killed it every single time because I didn't know this this part of the technique. So, now that it's starting up, I'll create a little spot with that char cloth right there. It's cheating, I know. I'm, I'm okay with that. Once this is going good and I can see it turning red, then I will slip it on the Char cloth. That baseboard has a tendency to rock my stick to the outside, so sometimes it's better to get a bigger baseboard. Good thing about having char cloth around too. 
As if all you have is a baby ember, and you're worried about it dying, you just add more char cloth. Stick a couple pieces in there. And that's like a giant ember. This uh, nest has been sitting around all winter, so I don't know how wet it is or how dry it is. Flame there. Add that little guy right on top. This stove has a little vent at the bottom so that oxygen can suck in. When I put the lid on, the heat will suck it out the top. I'll grab that real quick. See if we can't get it to draw. You can kind of hear it sucking the air in there. I used a Spider Crow Bushcraft knife or Bushcrafter knife. It's awesome. Goes through wood like there's no tomorrow. I think it's the hunter version. I don't remember to be honest with you, but it's got this saw in it that is um, awesome. And then the wood that I made out of, which is dogwood. Every piece of my bow drill is made out of dogwood. This was one log about that big around, okay, that I just hit with the hatchet until it was a uh, an inch to a, a half an inch thick. You don't want your baseboard any much thicker than that. And your thumb, that part of your knuckle, is about an inch. So if you put it up to your fingernail, that's about a half an inch. The rest of your thumb is an inch, just pretty much somewhere in there. Because the problem is if you make it too big, all your, your powder falls, all your carbon falls, and cools off and never compresses and heats up. You make it too small and you're, you can see how much I drilled through with that one. You make it too small and your axle burns right through the wood and there's no space for it. So about an inch to a half an inch is perfect. I used a, uh, the axle that, your spindle I use, man, I always mess those up. The spindle that I use, you want about the size of your thumb, no more than two inches. You want to take the, the same wood together, otherwise the hard wood will drill through the soft wood too fast. You can do it with hardwood. Try to stay away from hardwood. Um, you just have to drill more. That's besides the purpose, man. Make it easy on yourself. So use softwood with softwood. Any bow will do the job. Try to make it straight because you can, you can get more linear pulling on it. And it's all about the technique. It's not about much more than that. It's about smooth, consistent friction on the technique. And uh, that's why I use this. And I also uh, wrap it three times. Three times gives it more grip. Um, this is just 550 or parachute cord, paracord. Literally, I got a spindle of this I brought back from Afghanistan, and what else am I gonna do with it? So, All right, I'm gonna get my wife and my little baby. We're gonna cook some marshmallows and make a backyard wooden spoon.